horrific gas explosion in Kentucky, and it was deadly. Flames shooting 300 feet into the air. It was all part of a massive gas pipeline stretching some 9,000 miles. The blast so powerful, families were running for cover. Homes destroyed, the siding melting hundreds of yards away. Today, you could see the giant hole at that blast site, nothing but scorched earth all around. Those homes wiped out. At least one woman was killed, several others injured. And ABC's Alex Perez leads us off from the scene in Kentucky tonight. It looks like the gas station exploded. Residents jolted awake just before 1.30 a.m. by an explosion and a loud roar. My unit is nearby. We are receiving multiple calls of an explosion in the area. The 30-inch high-pressure pipeline exploding, sending a massive fireball 300 feet in the air. Our windows were shaking really bad, and our doors, the ground, you can hear the ground just moving and, and tumbling and rolling. Residents said it was like an atomic bomb. It was just whipping around. It looked like a tornado, like a fire tornado. Some suffering burns as they ran for their lives. It, it was so hot, I don't know. I don't see how we got out of there. Daylight revealing a massive blast zone. At least five homes wiped from the map. And here up close, you can see the power of those flames, the heat of that fire, the land here completely charred. In the distance there, look at those cars destroyed, melted. It looked like daytime. I mean, you could literally see everything at 1.30 in the morning. Man, it's crazy. The 9,000-mile pipeline carries natural gas from the Gulf of Mexico to the northeast. Authorities say a 58-year-old woman was killed. Officials believe she was trying to reach her neighbors but was overtaken by the heat. Several people were reported missing, but all are accounted for tonight. After being at the scene, walking through, um, frankly, that is, that is surprising. This could have been much, much worse. Just extraordinary images. Alex Perez joins us live from where that pipeline exploded. And Alex, still no word on what caused this. Yeah, David, the exact cause of all this remains a mystery. You can see all of that charred debris still behind me here. The NTSB will be sending a team of three investigators who will be working to pinpoint what exactly triggered all this. Thank you, Steph. The Target 12 investigators are looking deeper into what may have caused the sudden loss in gas pressure to Newport and Middletown. And we've learned there was a major pipeline explosion 600 miles away just minutes before Quidnick Island suddenly lost gas pressure. The gas line that ruptured in Ohio is owned and operated by the same company that supplies natural gas to Rhode Island. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's learned. National Grid tells us at 11 a.m. on Monday, the gas pressure to Aquidneck Island suddenly plummeted. We now know just moments before a 30-inch pipeline in Ohio exploded. This helicopter video shows the destruction. A gas line outside Columbus, Ohio explodes, destroying two homes and injuring two people. 20 minutes later in Rhode Island. We saw on our system a lack of supply coming from our transmission supplier, Algonquin Gas. A gas line feeding a Quidnick Island experiences a major pressure drop. A spokesperson for National Grid says they are aware of the explosion in Ohio, but Algonquin Gas, which is the supplier of natural gas to the Northeast, has not said if they are connected. An industry news site says the line that exploded supplies gas to the Northeast. National Grid says a gas valve in Weymouth, Massachusetts that feeds gas into Rhode Island is also operated by Algonquin and it malfunctioned. And because a Quidnick Island is at the end of the line, the pressure dropped so much. National Grid says they were forced to shut down the lower portion of the island. I can't say enough. We made the decision to do this for a safety reason. There were no representatives from Algonquin at today's news conference. I did make contact with a spokesperson. I was told I'd get some answers, but we're still waiting. Everything's been contained. Uh, everything's been shut out that uh, feeds that line, and the fire has uh, subsided, and uh, we're sending some of our personnel up as soon as they get the go-ahead uh, that it's safe to do so, and uh, they'll start assessing what it needs to, uh, what kind of repairs that will need to be, we, be done. It will take quite some time to uh, determine a root cause, uh, so it, will, it won't be today or tomorrow. It sometimes takes weeks to get that uh, determination. Initially, the fire uh, started from the blast of the, the pipeline. Uh, it spread to a stubble field and grass. Currently, we have units from McPherson and Harvey County working on containing grass fire. At this point, it appears uh, mainly contained, uh, no injuries 
and uh, no known property damage to structures at this time. We had two uh, concerns, obviously the uh, explosion from the gas line and then the grass. Uh, we've got open country here uh, with wheat fields surrounding the area, so the wind conditions obviously make that difficult today to contain. There's absolutely no danger at this point. Like I said, this is uh, if there was a, a good ending to this, this is this is it. Is that everything? If nobody's been hurt. All the uh, people who have uh, responded have uh, uh, been fine, are good. They are in a good uh, situation at this point, and everything's contained. It still boggles the mind to look at it. It may look just like a scene from a disaster movie, but this is real. This video captured today when the ocean caught fire in the Gulf of Mexico, just west of the Yucatan Peninsula. Those dramatic images of the ocean aflame quickly going viral on social media. Some people calling it an eye of fire, while others said it looked like the portal to hell opening up. Pemex, the Mexican state-run oil company, says an underground natural gas pipeline sprung a leak that caused that mid-ocean fire. A number of firefighting boats pumped water onto the fire for nearly five hours until it was eventually extinguished. They put out a fire on the ocean, an oil platform nearby not damaged.